I prepared. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, wow, it's a beautiful crowd. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. As you see, I'm very, I'm very touched. Also, this documentary, I have to be honest with you, I didn't see it. I saw it only after I sent it to you. Because a friend of mine just did it for the short documentary about, uh, about women. So definitely it's a great honor for me to be here today among, among uh, women from mostly, let's say, from art, but not only art, it's more than that, we all are aware of that. And uh, I definitely feel immensely, immensely grateful to be a recipient of this prestigious award. And I have to say that I really like it, it's going to have a special place in my home. Not only my home, in the, in the office, in the field, everywhere where I go. <laughs> Because people know me that I am all the time on the field. Rarely I stay in the office. And that's why actually meeting people, it makes him more stronger. And definitely today, it, I, I'll come back even stronger than I was before. But I have to go back and to read what I've written. But that's because I've written some words that I wanted to say to you. And definitely I feel my heart full of joy to receive this award. Because I deeply uh, believe that understanding, communication, tolerance, you mentioned, love for one another can build lasting peace, the peace that we all strive for. And uh, that we, I mean, not only dream with our communities, but no matter where we are, no matter who we are. Uh, I have to say, when I got informed for this award from our great actress, Arta Dobroshi, and uh, I was, uh, yeah, I was definitely very thrilled, and I just said, I was just thinking about my colleagues because they all deserve, and not only those that I work in daily basis in the office, but different partners all around, they will all deserve this award. So I'm really privileged uh, on their behalf, you know, to, to receive this one. Uh, because their contribution to the lasting peace in my country is a huge one, and I know that each and every one of them really deserves this. And, uh, and I'm really, again, very, very, very proud, you know, to strive for peace. I think this is our, our uh, uh, responsibility to open the doors for them so that they can actually be the voice for themselves, not us speaking on their behalf. So every day I get that energy from them and that energy then I reflect somewhere else. So, dear ladies and dear friends, because I believe I'm between friends, uh, we are every day surrounded by injustices in the world. We've been chatting since we, we entered, and we all are witnessing the long wave of refugees that are fleeing from their homes, leaving everything behind. And I know that feeling, and I know how much they really would like to come back. But I also believe that uh, the only way to build, to bring back this, norm, this world to normality, and to bring that uh, peace long-lasting pieces to work together, to work together in all the levels, in all spheres of life. Therefore, I really am so happy to have you as a woman that are making a change because films, documentaries, art really can have a great impact. Because when people ask me, when I was talking with mixed teams from two sides in disputing conflict, what is the most challenging for you? What is, I mean, what has, I most of times I just said to promote my work because people do not believe that we can be normal and we can speak about peace even you've seen in the documentary even with the conflicts and crises were there yes there were people working to bring that so it's extremely important to promote because that encourages and that is uh, that is actually uh, it has multi multi effect so last I'm sorry I'm uh, Bit emotional and uh, but not least I want to dedicate this uh, this award to my family yes we talked about family how it is important and to my mother actually and to all mothers because without her support and believing in me and with ups and downs that we had actually her all the time believing I wouldn't be here today so thank you very much and I'm not going to give up and we are not going to give up because we have no history we are half of half of the world's population, right? <laughs> Thank you for honoring me today.